Hey guys, in this video I'm going to talk about borrowing and lending money in the Philippines. Stick around. So guys, I thought I would do a video about borrowing money or lending money, probably more so lending money in the Philippines because it is so, so common. And those of you who have maybe chatted with Filipinas online or have Filipino friends, probably already know about lending. Um, it is so common to hear them say something like, uh, hey, can I borrow some money until payday or I promise to pay you back on Monday. And it really is part, almost part of their culture. And I'll get into that in a second. But the f first I wanted to relay a couple of stories. Now, when, when I came to the Philippines, I never had experienced um, the lending money or borrowing money thing here in the Philippines in and, and uh, it started I was at I was working at the English school I had only been there I don't know about a month or so and the receptionist who I thought was a really nice girl I had no interest in dating or anything like that but she was a nice girl a single mom and uh, I had asked I, I would make conversation with her almost on a daily basis and um, one day she was telling me how she had a five-year-old son that lived out in the province with her parents and she couldn't communicate with him uh, because she didn't have a phone and so I was empathetic towards that uh, she never asked me for money but she had told me that she needs to maybe buy a, a, a refurbished phone a used phone and I asked her how much is that she said 5,000 pesos and so I never lent her money. I simply gave her the money. I said, here's 5,000 pesos. Um, get this phone and get in touch with your son and so you guys can communicate. Because I felt bad and I never asked for the money back. I just gave it to her. Um, and originally she had told me she would get the phone in like three days. So I gave her the money and I think about a week had gone by. I said, hey, do you got the phone yet? No, not, not yet, sir. It's still uh, on order. Two weeks comes along. Um, do you have the phone? No, sir. It's on back order. It's uh, out of supply for right now. And then literally like a month went by and no phone. And I quickly realized that either one of two things. Either one, she was lying to me and she didn't need a phone. Uh, two... She maybe really needed the phone, but then when she got that 5,000, she literally probably kind of lost her mind a bit, had like 5,000 in her hand. Now all of a sudden, is, does she really need the phone or is it uh, more important to go hang out with her friends and go do karaoke and buy beers for everyone? I don't know. So lesson learned, if you are gonna do some kind of charitable type thing for somebody here, I have discovered that it's better just to simply, if somebody said, I need a phone, to simply buy a phone and give it to them. Again, this was somebody that I knew pretty well. She was the receptionist. I worked with her. This wasn't just some random Filipina on the street that asked me for money. And I volunteered to give it. So, you know, I, I wasn't expecting the money back, but I was a little disappointed that she never ever bought the phone. And who knows what happened with the money. but. Fast forward, I don't lend money in the Philippines. Um, if I know somebody, a Filipino, and they truly need money or they truly need something and they are a true friend of mine, then I will just simply give it without ever expecting it to be returned because as they say in the Philippines here, if you lend money, it's basically a gift. Um, you don't get it back, you, ju you just don't get it back. And so you will save yourself a lot of frustration if you are feel bad for somebody. Either they need medicine or some story. And again, I don't tell people to give up money um, to somebody you don't know. I'm talking about somebody you actually know. And again, this girl was a receptionist at my job and I knew her, I thought I knew her pretty well. But uh, don't give up money, simply Get them what they need if you really want to help somebody. If they say they need a phone, you get them the phone. If they say they need medicine, go into the pharmacy with them, 
buy the medicine in person. Don't just hand them a lump sum of money. I, I feel like they're kind of bad at managing money here in the Philippines. And I, I think I've talked to other people, they've kind of agreed with me that they are not the best at saving money. They kind of live for the live for the moment, you should say. You know, they, they get an amount of money. Like often in the Philippines, they will get 13th month pay. That is one extra month of pay for working. That's in any, any job in the Philippines, they get that 13th month pay. By the way, many companies, by the way, are struggling and say they won't be able to afford to pay 13th month pay now with this pandemic going on. And that's, that's a huge blow, by the way. I just saw an article in the paper. But a lot of Philipp I, I had worked with literally over a thousand teachers. And when they all got that 13th month pay, I would, I would ask them sometimes, say, what are you gonna do with your extra money? And they would say, oh, I'm just gonna, me and my friends, we're gonna go travel somewhere, uh, but we are gonna go out to eat. I'm gonna buy dinner for all my family. I'm gonna buy gifts for all my family. And literally a week after they got that 13th month pay, nobody ever saved. I never heard of anybody ever saving. It was always to spend for the moment, live for the moment and spend the money. Um, it's hard for them to save. It's just, they just weren't educated on, on how to deal properly with money, you know, about saving. And um, most of them don't have bank accounts. Mo most Filipinos, I find, don't have bank accounts unless they are working and the job sets up those bank accounts because they do direct deposit. And anybody who's been to the Philippines can attest that when pay, the payday comes, there is a line around the corner for that ATM. And us Westerners know about this when we have gone to the ATM and it's payday and you were waiting, or we've gone to an ATM and they have no cash available and you're running around town trying to find an ATM with cash. Uh, we also get frustrated that it seems they take forever at ATMs, so that's a whole other video. But I, I don't know what happens at an ATM with Filipinos, but they seem to spend all day. I, I don't know if they, uh, I don't know. Again, that's another video, but they spend a long time at the ATM. Back to uh, lending money. It's almost a society where even at the sorry, sorry stores in the local, their local barangays or their local neighborhoods, it's very, very common that they go to the sorry, sorry stores and they say, I don't have any money. Can I uh, purchase the Coke and then pay the money on Monday? I think it's called Utan or something like that. Utan. Yeah, and it's where they they don't have the money. They'll get a product from the Sorry Sorry store, a local neighborhood store, and they promise to return. And meanwhile, these Sorry Sorry stores run out of stock. They use their own money to have to go purchase product, and a lot of them go belly up because of this problem, lending out money, and, and, and it's, there's a lot of pressure. These are their neighbors, their family members, their friends. Um, but they run a sorry, sorry store. Their friends are going into the store and taking stuff. Uh, their neighbors are borrowing, or, or you know, borrowing until payday, you know, like products or rice or what, whatever. And meanwhile, again, the sorry, sorry store, they're having to go out and get products. So. Lending money in the Philippines, I have learned my lesson. I don't lend money. I only give money. If, if they need money, if they need something specifically, I, I only do something specific. So again, example, back to the phone. If I would have went back and did that again, I would have found out the phone that she needs and I would have simply just bought it for a cheap 5,000 peso phone and handed her the phone directly and I would have known that she would have used it properly. Unless, of course, she pawns it later or sells it. That's a little out of, out of your control. Um, somebody who genuinely needs money for a sick relative, somebody you know, if you wanted to help, again, I would never send money to somebody online that I didn't know who said they had a sick relative. But if it was somebody you know, going into the pharmacy with them, buying them the prescription, and uh, that I think is okay, but don't lend money. Either make it a gift or don't do it at all. And certainly don't borrow money in the Philippines. Even expats, I could go into a whole segment on that. There's expats that come out here that don't have money too and wanna to borrow money or also wanna start a business with you. And I would 
I would stay away from that as well. So guys, I appreciate you watching. Let me know what some of your thoughts and some of your experiences are with borrowing and lending money in the Philippines. See you guys. Take it real soon.